Hi, so my name is Peter, and I will be doing a sociological examination on America in Paris, specifically with, with a focus on gender norms in the movie. So, so let's start off with what is a gender norm. And a gender norm is essentially the appropriate customs or traditions, depending on which gender you are. So, for example, if you're a man, you would be expected to get a nice job, make a decent amount of money, and overall just provide for your family back at home. And if you're a woman, you would be expected to take care of the kids or keep the house clean and fix up dinner once the husband comes home. And in America in Paris, this wasn't really the case. It was a bit more progressive than what we would normally see in a movie from the 1950s to the 1960s where we would see elements of culture from Paris, which overall was a bit looser, and people overall would just have more fun, where there would be more intimacy, people wouldn't be so dependent on another gender, as we would see, say, with the character Milo from American in Paris, where she was the rich, powerful young lady with lots of connections that helped out Jerry with his career for a little bit of time. And another thing about Milo is she also shows a little bit of the traditional culture in the 1950s back in the US, where when Jerry goes to her house for the first time, he is like, so do you have a rich husband or a rich father? Immediately just discontinuing the fact that she might have made her money on, the o on her own. And the reason I feel that the director put this in there is solely because he didn't want to necessarily shock the audience, in a sense, because before this, he was already showing more intimacy, say, with the cafe scene, where it's the, the trio of male friends, where they're just talking about, I believe it was the girls that they were meeting, and they were just being more affectionate with each other, they were hugging each other, I think one of them did kiss the other on the cheek, arms around each other, which even to this day, I would argue isn't as normal as you'd expect it, especially among male friendship groups, where it's still seen as a bit of a more private thing to show affection. So even that also just brings up another point where PDA is not necessarily a thing we usually see in U.S culture so this also goes against those beliefs even to this day so segueing off the whole pda topic i'd like to dive just a little bit into the culture of paris in the 1950s with uh this photo you're seeing on screen right now right so it's just simply a couple kissing in a window right and i feel like this picture alone is just proof right that like uh, French culture was overall just more loose, right? You would, there's, you know, people were just being just more playful, I guess is the way that I would put it. And the reason I bring this up is because, well, like, there's just, how would I say this? It's very stark contrast to what the U.S. is like, where people just have a more rigid social structure in the U.S. back in the day, and this in the, this photo only just shows like, hey, you know, just kissing in a window is just something you'd normally see on like a Tuesday night. And one more thing I'd like to mention is the 007 movies, where they constantly had the complete opposite of this, where people are more free. There's more in the movies. It was just more of a rigid structure where. There was always, you know, like, uh, Bond destroys some criminal organization, but he also ends up falling in love with some pretty lady in the process, right? And this lady's always utterly helpless. Like, the one scene that I'd like to mention is how there was a girl running away from an insurgent through a forest. Ground was completely clean, nothing to slip on, and she just ends up gracefully falling. And then Bond has to hop out from the side of the frame, shoot this insurgent dead, and help her, and then... Uh, she ends up just falling in love with him even more. And the reason I mention this is because, like, 
it just shows how the culture back in the U.S. was just so male dominant, where they just absolutely had to have this woman fall for literally no reason, just so he could save her. Sure, you could argue it's for the plots, but I mean, if you watched any of the Bond movies, you would understand that something that small, where she just simply is falls and is saved by bond from one person really isn't too important to the the uh, story but i digress i'd like to go back to american paris specifically where let's focus on the character lisa where in my opinion i feel like she is the most um complete form in terms of how paris culture is because in this in, with this character, you end up seeing just her being more independent, right? Where she stands her ground against Jerry, essentially harassing her to try and get a date with her. And she's just like, no, go away. And essentially, that alone, I feel, just shows how progressive French culture is. Because it just simply showed, like, you know, a woman standing up for herself. For herself and not just simply immediately falling for the man so i'd like to leave you guys with a question before i close this out where i'd like you guys to just respond to me on blackboard where with other romance films or just other films in the 1950s and 1960s what aspects of them that showed a culture in them made them different from this one because obviously this one's more progressive than i'd say most tv shows or movies back in this time period so yeah just get back to me on that and have a good day